हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर इन एक्सरसाइज नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री इन लास्ट क्लास ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी हैड कंप्लीटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ डेसिमल बाय टेन एंड हंड्रेड सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन it's uh, exercise number 6.3 and we have to start 2a so what is our question number 1 a 6.3 into 10 we have to multiply 6.3 by 10 now students when we multiply a decimal number by 10 the decimal point moves to the right By one place. Okay, so if we multiply six point three into ten, what is our answer? It should be sixty three. Six point three into ten is equal to sixty three. This is our answer. If we multiply our number, a decimal number, by ten, the decimal point moves to the right by one place. So six point three. If we multiply this with ten, our answer is sixty-three. Now we will take another question. Suppose it's ninety-two point one six into ten. It's a question number D. Ninety-two point one six into ten. This is our question. So, as I explained earlier, if we multiply a decimal number by ten, we have to we have to move this decimal point to the right by one place so what is our answer it should be 921.6 this is our answer okay students now let's start another question it's a question number b 7.81 into 100 now this decimal number we have to multiply by 100 And students, if we multiply any decimal number by hundred, the decimal point moves to the right by two places. Okay, so we have to shift the decimal process. We have to write this decimal after two digit. Okay, so what is our answer? Our answer should be seven eighty one. So let's begin with the number B. Seven point eight one into hundred. This is our question. Now, if we multiply this with hundred, we have to move this to the right by two places. That means, what is our answer? Seven eighty one point zero or seven eighty one is our answer. Okay, students. In this way, you have to solve all. We will take another question. Suppose it's a question number F. One hundred twelve point six seven into hundred. It's a question number F. Six seven into hundred. We have to multiply this by hundred. So what is our answer? One one twelve point six seven into hundred. We have to move this by two digit. So our answer is this. This is our answer. In this way, you have to solve all. So solve all the questions. Now we will start another chapter. It's the chapter number six point four. So let's begin. This is the division. Divide. Question number one: fourteen point four divided by twelve. What is our first question? First question is fourteen point four, and we have to divide this number by twelve. Now, students, as you know, a decimal number fourteen point four is a decimal number, and it has two part. This is a decimal number. This is decimal number, and this number has two part. First part fourteen. This is the first part, and this part is known as Whole number, 
and this part after decimal 4 this is the decimal number so when we divide a decimal number by a whole number then what we have to do after dividing the whole number we have to put the decimal in the question just have a look how we have to solve it our question is 14.4 divided by 12 we have to divide this by 12 12 ones are 12 now students, as you can see here uh, division of whole number part is completed that means we have to put the decimal here clear 2 and 4 12 2 is 24 so what is our answer our answer is 1.2 okay students so when you complete the division of whole number then you have to put the decimal this is the main thing that you have to keep in your mind clear now come to the next question our next question is question number b 283.4 divided by 2 number b 283.4 divided by 2 let's begin 283.4 and we have to divide this by 2 2 ones are 2 8 2 fours are 8 3 2 ones are 2 now division of whole number part is completed now what we have to do we have to put the decimal in the quotient ok now we will write here 2 7s are 40 so what is our answer 141.7 this is our answer ok students now we will take another question it is a question number C 74.7 4, 4 divided by 8. Now how we will solve it? Just have a look. We have to divide this decimal number by 8. 8 nines are 72. What is left here? 2 is left here. Division of whole number part is completed. That means we have to put a decimal here. This decimal we have to put here. Now we will write 4 here. 8. 3 is a 24. Now we will write 4 here. So what we have to do is strength. We have to put a 0 here. And then we put 1 0 here. 8 5 is a 40. So this is our answer 9.305 is our answer okay students now we will take another question suppose it's a question number m 131.25 divided by 21 it's a question number m 131.25 divided by 21 Now, it's a 6 times, 6 1 is a 6, 6 2 is a 12. 11 minus 6 is 5. Now, students, as you can see here, division of whole number part is completed. Then what we have to do? We have to put the decimal in the quotient. Okay? Now, we have to write 2 here. 2 2 is a 2 1 is a 2. 2 2 is a 4. 0, 1, 5. Then it's a 5. 5 and the 5, 5 to the 0. So what is our answer? 6.25 is our answer. In this way, you have to solve all. Come to the next question. Question number 2. Divide. We have to divide this decimal number by 10. Now students, when we divide a decimal number by 10, we have to shift the decimal point one place to the left. Okay. So, let's see how we will solve it. It's a question number 2A. 
2.9 divided by 10. So, when we divide a decimal number by 10, we have to shift this decimal one place to the left. So, what is our answer? 0.29 is our answer. Okay, students, we have to shift this decimal point one place to the left. I mean, see, here, so take one place shift. Karna hai. So, our answer is 0.29. Come to the next question. Suppose it's a question number B 35.9 divided by 10. How will we solve it? Number B, it's a number B, 35.9, it's a 35.9 divided by 10. So, how we have to solve it? If we divide a decimal number by 10, we have to move this set decimal point one place to the left. So, what is our answer? 3.59 is our answer. Okay, students, come to the next question. Suppose it's question number C, 0 0.6 divided by 10. It's a question number C, 0 0.6 divided by 10. So, how we will solve it? 0 0.6 divided by 10, we have to move this one place. And that means 0 0.06 is our answer. Okay, students, in this way you have to solve all. So, what is your class work? Question number 2. Only few questions are left here. So, question number 2 of 6.3 and question number 1 of 6.4 is your class work. And question number 2 of 6.4 is your homework.